So in episode one, you've got to see me take from paper the actual idea of a truck and bring it into reality. But in this episode two, you're about to see the kind of artist that I am and the flow that I learn in the moment. And he is a fiberglass wizard. Oh, he made me a pattern. Love your work, David. But hey, you know who does have headlight buckets? My buddy David Wiley. Makes them in fiberglass, strong. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut this end off of here. This is an Izetta wheel. I'm gonna cut that off of it and I'm gonna weld that little stub to a plate I make that fits this. So I'll pretty essentially make an adapter plate so I'll have a removable, I'll have a removable steering wheel to get in and out to make it a little easier on my brake pedal and throttle pedal. Give a shout out to Mr. Bear, my 10th grade shop class teacher. He taught me how to make a jig. I know he's still alive. Hope you're doing good, big dog. You taught me about everything I know, manufacturing wise, so thanks. How'd the jig work? Well, how'd the jig work? And deputy, Yeah, and deputy, we call that good enough for who it's for. Did it. It's gonna be just good. Just good. Then all I gotta do Fill those in, grind it smooth. Done. Seems simple, huh? Start of day 17. Horses are fed. And I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel on this thing. I've got almost all the sheet metal work done. I gotta make hinges and finish welding. But as far as like fabrication stuff goes, I'm about ready to fill this hole and then make an engine cover for that. I'm gonna go ahead and pattern out all the side panels while it's together here. I'm really happy with it. I can't wait for Trent to show back up because when he shows back up this time, like he's gonna know what it's gonna look like. There's no questions other than when are we going home? 
All right, I'm gonna get back to it. Gonna be a lot of welding for a few days, so I might, this might just be like a fast forward through the next couple days of just welding because it's gonna, not, not much is gonna change. All right. Cleanup's gonna happen early today because it sounds like it is about to storm. A piece of hail just dropped like a damn ice cube, so I'm packing my stuff in. I think it's about to hit pretty hard. Yeah, that would sound good. Oh, there's the rain. Oh, God. Ooh, that's hail. That's big hail. That's the tornado siren. Look at the hail. What in the hail? Oh God, man. I hope they're all okay. I think it's about the time of the day for them to start coming home too. Yeah, it's 3.40. I hope they're okay. Instead of sitting out there and working where I can't hear, I ought to just stay inside till this thing passes. This is Mother Nature's way of telling me to take a break. That's fine. Kind of needed one anyway. <sighs> so glad I got the headlights on today. Very apparent of how much I appreciate everyone's help and that I have not cut a corner. I'm doing my absolute best work I can on a pretty hard throttle time crunch type pace. I haven't taken a single day off and I don't plan to until I hug my wife. So I hear the storm died down. I'm gonna go gander outside and then I'm gonna get back to work because it looks like I ain't been in here 10 minutes and I already feel guilty. So I'm gonna get to it guys. Same. So I put the bed angle at that window angle. I think that's obviously the rake.
you are the guy that has to navigate that road. Plastic. pipe and stuff showed up to finish the shape of this bed they said it wasn't going to show up till monday and i just called them about it and it is it just showed up today so i already got the bed cut the perimeter i want and everything so i'm gonna make this bed. has been extremely long but check this out I got the fenders mounted I made the steps made all the bracketry I'm about to finish this side up figured you could watch me I got fenders all figured out and step boards figured out Recycled hot rod, too. All right, people, we made it. It is day 20. Um, I've got a couple more days of what I see as fabrication here, and then it is time to blow this thing apart for paint and body. That's going to be this week. I'm excited. these days piling up but day 22 I got a pretty good schedule going here I'm sleeping eight hours a day getting up feeding horses getting chased around by midge here all right like I said day 22 let's get to it around this time during my second visit in late March, I had the Cook's Garage show 
of the West Texas Roundup on the same weekend that was lining up perfectly with Mikey's build for me to come in and show the viewers how much Mikey has gotten done from my visit around day nine and 10. So this would be technically around the 23rd, 24th maybe, because I come back twice in one weekend. So here's my second visit, checking on Mikey in Texas, right before and right after the Cook's Garage show. All right, I just got in from Indiana and I think it's maybe day 22, 23 or so for Mikey on this hauler. I haven't seen it since day 10, maybe day 12. And every day, every day on Instagram, I feel like there's a big chapter I'm missing. But the good thing is I'm here now and it's not painted. And I feel like he was at a, such a pace that he was gonna finish this car before I even got to Texas. So before I go to the West Texas Roundup in Texas, try to get us some build money and speed and culture some money for this trip. And now it's time to see all the work that Mike has done since I've been here last time. I can't wait. So the, when you jack this thing up, the rear end doesn't drop. So like if you hit a bump and the back end comes off the ground, it won't pull this into any weirder angle than this. So the angle I have this at, I have them both matching, you know, at like three degrees. And then as that travels, it will take this drive shaft and do this. It'll move it this way. So when it does that, it pushes this in and out, you know? So yeah. he told me to pull it out like an inch then measure it when the weight is all on it and then with the lemon straps on it as it pushes in it can never go past that one inch as it pulls in and out here see what i'm saying yeah which that should be just fine so this is a late model rear volkswagen fender a 72 turned backwards and then it's got an early model headlight so it's a volkswagen fender but it's a volkswagen rear fender with an early model front fender headlight in it i don't know how i came up with that but i like the way it looks and that fiberglass insert is from creative car craft the guy that made all the fiberglass for the six offender he made those buckets for me too Yesterday was day 24, today is day 25. Oh, it rained last night, I didn't know that. Yuck. I gotta go feed the horses. That's what I got. Okay, so day 25, I got the paint off of her. I put that bubble on, got it all fitted and all that done. And then I started welding. I got all of this welded solid. I got a couple of spots here to finish. I got this welded solid. Got the fender welded solid from like there to there. I just had, and I got that all done. So I got that bottom done. This side, I didn't get any of it done yet. I have a lot of it done from like there to there. And I have a significant amount done there and there. So I take my time so I don't warp it like crazy. Thanks, so cool. Okay. 
Today is day 26. Creeping up on four weeks since I've been here and I've almost got a truck built, so. All right, I have got almost, I didn't get all the welding done. My hands are cramping real bad, so I've just got that little thing to finish. Uh, this fender's done. I got a couple little spots around the headlights, both of them still. Uh, very little on this side. And then this whole side is done, and it's even dressed. I even ground it today, so. I got this side ground down, ready to start body working. I got even this side of the top ground down. So all the rust repair is done. All of the little tedious BS stuff is left to do. Tomorrow here I come. Last night I got on the phone with Ruthie. I did a little change of the plans after doing so much welding and sheet metal work yesterday. I don't want to rush the body work on this thing. I really want it to turn out nice. Okay, so plans have changed a little bit. I got all the welding done. Uh, my hands are starting to scream on me a little bit. So just so I can do very detailed, like perfect body work at home for a paint job, and we don't have to worry about damage damaging a paint job on a shakedown run to Indiana, I'm gonna get this thing in white primer, and uh, then at home I can fine tune everything perfectly with Big Deal and paint them all at the same time and save money. I hate the thought of buying two gallons of paint here, going back home, buying a gallon of paint, and having all this left over. I'm, I'm just hating that idea. So I'm gonna paint them all together once I get back home. And what I'm focusing on here, getting it smoothed up, looking like something, and operating. So I am getting ready to go see Ruthie and the kids. I'm starting to miss them a lot. I watched this show called Alone, and I always said, oh, you drop me out there, I'll be fine, all by myself. My heart's breaking in a million pieces without them. I can't wait to see them. And I'm gonna try to surprise them for Easter, so we'll see. When I went to the show, they gave me a free vendor spot and I had out some paper, the pavement gear and some speed and culture gear. And by the end of that show, Trevor Cook and the Cook family actually donated some money for Mikey for parts. So for sure, me and Mikey would have never gotten home if it wasn't for the Cook family. So I want to say thank you for them for helping us out so much, just like the others. Okay, I got shock mounts made today. I got those done. I got the old girl steering. So got it steering. I got the engine cradle all done. I added in all the extra supports. Got the engine cradle all done. I wanted the engine to be open underneath so I could drop the pan. So I had to make this giant engine cradle to distribute that weight over all of that area instead of just there and there. So that's, that was my thought behind that. Okay, I got the gas tank in today. 
I got new shocks on front and back, got all that done. And then I got the engine painted, chassis all painted. Oh, I even got wheels. They're just rattle canned. I really wanted a lighter color than that, like a more of a pistachio, but that's all they had. Uh, this was the color the cap was, you know, which is a tad lighter, but I don't care. Eventually the plan was to have chrome wheels on it, but I didn't have chrome wheel budget right now. So these are wheels I could get. The back wheel is just like the cheapest wheel that the parts store had for sale. So it's just like a regular old eight inch smoothie but everything is coated and going together to stay together as far as chassis goes. So, very happy. Day 28 is another success. Day 29, and it is the very first day, and I'm gonna be honest, that I woke up and do not feel like doing this. I'm, I just wanna be honest with everything on here, but I've, my, I, I feel like I've been hit by a damn truck. I think the the job is starting to catch up with me. So, since I'm so tired, I've decided to hit it as hard as every other day and get home as soon as possible. Hey, I'll, I'll have time to rest when I'm done. Love you. intake and the exhaust all painted and got it put back together had a new carburetor on it and I got the fluid changed in this and I got the transmission filter kit put in it that's all full I need to get gas but I got the gas line all hooked up to the fuel pump I just need to run from the fuel pump to the carburetor I got the trans cooler on all I have to do is plumb it Batteries in place. I'm serious, like I'm really, really close. And I cut down the drive shaft today. So I got the drive shaft all cut down to size two out of that spare drive shaft. So. Mike got us an awesome spot set up here to do body work in. And we got the camper for inspiration too. That's canned glam. Be sure to look into her. It's my friend Taylor. Day 29 in the books. We have got a drive train now and a drive shaft. See you on day 30. Okay, it's day 30. I'm trying to get it all plumb so I can try to start it. I got radiator hose is done it's really looking cool though like look i like that you see those tubes and stuff and that's what the kids are going to look through and see through that hole uh, i'm i'm actually really excited about that so i made uh i made the radiator mount though i got it made um and then this is what i do i, I don't like bolting them solid i got a spring in there so the radiator can wiggle it can shake and it doesn't this is just a saddle with high heat foam saddle on it. So the radiator itself is actually just clamped in there. And then these are only in there for guides. So it can't come off its spot. That's the cheapest way I've found to put them together. Uh, I just used a piece of scrap sheet metal. Um, those pre-made tabs. I buy these from, uh, from Speedway. Like you gotta get so much to get free shipping. These are like 40 bucks and they save ridiculous amount of time. So anytime I'm short, yeah, I don't care if I'm short $4, I usually spend it on that instead of wasting it on junk to get free shipping. So I'm getting ready to start it, I think. Wish me luck.
runner. Indiana, here we come. Man, I did it. I actually did it, guys. Oh my gosh. Cannot believe this works. moving on to finishing this body. So I've got ev all the rust has been, was uh, I drug this thing. I got all the rust off with this everywhere. I stripped it all down. The pitted spots, I wire brushed, I did that. And then I rust reformed it all. So everything that was pitted has been treated before I start doing body work. I don't care. I, I don't care how slow she is. I, I'm happy. I, I hammered these wheel lips to get us even more clearance. Okay, day 31. Day 31. I've been here 31 days and I'm missing them. I'm missing them. Something crazy. But getting closer. I'm coming home. The front started, I got the first coat slapped on the side. Everything that's gonna need a few layers, I went ahead and put on. That way I can, especially around the headlights, like the headlights are looking pretty slick. Especially this side, I got this side pretty close. I'm really happy with it. And that's just one coat. That's just a really quick little slap on coat. Thanks buddy. No problem man, I don't know about saving today, but. If it don't stop, it's not on me. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Darren got the brakes together. Got them adjusted too, he said. He's the man. All right. Created both the wheels back on and then run some brake lines. 32, three, two, 32. And the body is coming into it. Look at that side right there. I've about got one side lined out started getting this sculpted and then this side isn't too far behind and i used uh, um, a product that mike was showing me and it smoothed out as slick as anything i've ever seen and it's sandable i used it on all of the welds to smooth them out and make them easier to sand that was Mike's idea and I am loving it because it is making this job a whole lot easier. Day 33. Day 33 was a lot of inside stuff, but I did get all the holes in the bed drilled. I got the shifter made. This is a leftover shifter that I had that I was gonna use on the six offender. So this is the leftover parts from the six offender. And I got it working too. So I made straight shifter linkage, straight shot. All right, that's day 34 gonna be a lot of sand and a lot of boring stuff but i'm gonna jump in it and get to it so have a good day
Is anybody questioning if this is a budget build now? Okay, so Rust Oleum is getting me home. I went and got some good like primer and the other stuff is ultra cover uh, colored primer. The green is, that's what I used on the wheels too. So like everything that is green is in a thick build of Rust Oleum primer, which is gonna be easy enough to sand down and finish up when we get home. But I got started I got all the inside sanded and ready to undercoat too. Trying to get all the undercoating done before the body work, just in case it gets crazy. Like the weather is looking awful. It's like tornadoes tonight. So I'm gonna try to buzz this down real quick, undercoat it as good as I can. And like worst case scenario, I don't wanna push this thing outside in the rain with putty. <sighs> I hope the rain holds off a little bit. I better get to it. Bye everybody. Okay, I got the inside all undercoated. I'm gonna buzz some body work down um, and try to get some green going on today. Uh, we'll see. Day 35, got some tinted primer on the old girl. Got it on the bed too. Sprayed the fenders. I gotta do those two little things over there. And I got a couple little more things. That's just one coat on the body. I got another coat I gotta do, but as you can see, coming together. All right, I drove all over the area. I cannot find enough green primer to do it all. So I'm two-toning it. So this is a compromise that I think might actually work out pretty cool. We are gonna see two-tone primer job for the ride home. Thanks to Rust Oleum. Good compromise. I'm glad I couldn't find enough green primer now. I was panicking when it happened because I'd already committed, but I can do everything else I have left in that white. Those panels on the side, these, I'll just do them in the white too. So it'll be like accent. It's kind of cool accident. Busted radiator. It's at the radiator shop, had a hole in it. Hope it's okay, but if not, I'll have to remake that too. Hey, keep punching. I can take them. I can take them. The universe is swinging and I'm eating them. Because look at that. That goes there in another day or two. Yeah, I ain't mad at that at all. Hi. Putin sent me shirts and everything. He sent me. Dig 
Yep. Very happy. I also got this done. I got mirrors on, got the bubble on, of course, got the headlights all done and mounted, and I made a latch. Mike had a tailgate latch left over, so I put a tailgate latch on that thing, made a little stud, and now, boom, boom, we got us a latch. Whipped it up in just a few minutes, too, so she's coming together. It's looking like something, too. I mean, guys, this is as budget as it gets. I painted the chassis with rust oleum, with some rust oleum. I brushed it on this right here. And then I used rust oleum products for everything else. And I probably don't have, I bet you I got a hundred dollar bill in paint and everything. And that to me is what is fun about stuff. I can't afford to do anything, but I can afford to rattle can a scrapyard pickup truck. And most of the time when you hear scrapyard pickup truck, you think S10, but paper to pavement scrapyard pickup truck looks like that in 36 days. <clears throat> Man, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. I always, always thought I could do this. I've said it a million times. Drop me anywhere. You give me my tools and a fun enough scrap pile and I can build my way away home. And I am so proud of. As hard as it is to be away from Ruthie and the kids. Oh man, look at what I get to show them I made. I'm gonna get back to work. I can't wait to see him. Exhaust is done. We're gonna bring back and use, and I wanna drive with them and everything. So I've changed my plan just a little bit because of my extreme fear of driving at home. I do not feel like it is road worthy for that long a trip. I don't. And I can get it that way, but guys, I'll be honest with you. I can't without my wife and kids no more. I'm, I'm falling apart. And it doesn't happen while I'm working, but as soon as I run out of parts and I'm just standing here, I could be standing at home waiting on parts. It'll be 40 days and 40 nights since they have seen me. <laughs> and I'll be back on Easter too, it kinda works out cool. But 40 days and 40 nights, I left. I came to Texas and I have built the craziest little work truck. And hey, the road trip was never the important part anyway. It was really about me having a vehicle that would make the road trip. Cause I, had, I don't have a truck, a trailer, I have no way to get it. Thank God for my buddy Trent. Man, Trent, he always saves me. He has to come save me when I break down and he calls and he says, what if I look at like a truck and trailer situation, which we can't afford. We don't have it, but what I definitely can't afford is a tow bill and all that stuff and a broken truck. I don't want that. I don't want to tear it up. I want to make sure it's good before I leave. And I know I'm missing my kids enough where I'm not going to. And I don't want to get me hurt, but I don't want to get one of y'all hurt out there driving around, you know? It's not worth it. Hey guys, at the end of the day, <laughs> who else, who else is going to do this much and that little? I hope this shows you that I mean what I say. Okay, so my sister saved the day. Last night, I, was, I mean, I, was, I, I can't go anywhere. I can't do anything without this radiator. I mean, I'm just about in a dead stop. Okay, it's day 37 and Trent's on his way with a truck and trailer. I'm gonna get this thing bolted together tonight. I'm gonna try to get it running. If I can get this thing running and moving under its own power tonight, surprise Trent when he gets here, I can then surprise Ruthie and the kids. So we can load up, hit the road. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a truck at home. The old truck turned out really cool. Really, really cool. 
better than I thought it would, honestly. I like how the bed turned out. That was something that I just kept making up because I had nothing to build the bed. I dreamed it up, man. I dreamed it. Did it. My kids are going to love this. I cannot wait for them to look through that little bubble on the side. Uh, Trent's coming and we're going to get her home. I hope Trent gets here soon because we got some storms to beat. I did it. That's a success. Hey, I had one customer to please on this one and it was me. And hey, I'm happier than I thought I would be. Let's go home. Just left the house in Indiana with all these storms going on and that time crunch of Easter. I think the best bet is for me just to go rent a truck, drive to Texas and just trailer Mikey home and uh, as a nice little backup plan. So hey, don't worry brother man, we're on our way. Tornado sirens or not, today was a day where I felt like I wasn't just picking up a friend, a brother. I really felt like I was picking up a champion that just won his belt and I'm just right home from the airport knowing he finally finished the hauler. What's up, man? Gotta go home to him. Yeah, I know it's my truck, but I really I built this one off of what my kids would like. I really want to be their role model, and I hope this is something they look back on and can appreciate because these 38 days without them has been really hard. It's been really hard, but I hope that they realize I'm doing it to make a better life for us. I hope. Oh man. This is the only bedroom I've had, like my my own bedroom since I was a kid. You know, like me and Ruthie started dating when I was 17. She's always been beside me. I thought I would miss having my own room, but I don't. I'm ready to go home. Poop without a pooper scooper. What? Can't scoop poop without a pooper scooper. You yeah, haven't looked at me. Nice See you, Trent. Right? Yeah. See you, brother man. Keep it clean. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, Mike. Get a focus on it. 
three, two, one, go for it. Her first dollar at Can Glam gets to be from my last dollar from the pickle jar. The beautician or the beast? Yes. <laughs> no problem, man. Uh, be careful. Thank you for helping me so much, man. No problem, man. It was fun. Do your hair I like how my camera Let me get a look. Do the hair again. Sorry. Do the hair. I thought that my ride home was going to be not as comfortable as the ride down, but I think it's the same make and model. In 3.9 <laughs> miles, turn right onto FM 3325. All right. Five feet closer to home. that thing moves. Hey, it passes the cool test, it caused a traffic jam. For you guys that didn't see, he came up to our window and was doing that mind blown gesture and it kind of like, what is it? So if he comes back up, we're gonna see. I'm gonna give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down, see what he thinks. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell thumbs down, dude. Shout out s, s Concrete for digging it. I've been gone this long, man. Here we go, dude. We're about to go to Indiana.
Indiana. This is the longest I've been away from home since I went to college for upholstery. And this is the longest I've ever been away from my kids. It's good. It feels good to be back in Indiana, man. I can't wait to get home. About 45 minutes. We'll see him. From picking that up in Texas, <laughs> sitting behind the shop, to taking it back to Texas from Indiana. Now you came back to Indiana, and now it's an Izetta hauler. You know, to go from what we picked up in Texas to what I have back there, I mean, in a hundred years would be cool. But to do it in 40 days, I'm just happy I found what I was looking for, you know, and I appreciate y'all for believing me and following along and I said I could do it and dude, by God I did it buddy I can't wait to show the kids I'm gonna drive this thing so we can see it past the car truck around my people now first honk first, first exit honk, first exit since we turn off already getting them stealing first and only time I ever stole right there in that building. Grabbed a candy bar thinking I was slick and Uncle Gary caught me. So he made me give it back, apologize, and push my bicycle back to the campground. I wasn't allowed to ride it. Had to push it all the way back to Hardy Lake, which is about six miles back there. That was my punishment. No more stealing for me. I worked for it after that. Okay, right here. When we go through these caution lights, turn left, deputy addresses. Everybody's got a deputy address, so we're five minutes from home. I did it! Thank you. See y'all. A lot. You said you lost weight, too. 25 pounds in 40 days. On that pickle diet. Pickle no. There it is, man. There's a the job. Like my friends from town are out watching me come in. Pretty cool, man. That's a cool Oh, yeah. Look at there. What you What are you doing? <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you guys up to? I got to see you for the kids, dude. <laughs> hey, 40 days and 40 nights. I did Lent for no reason. Hey, you did good. You like it? Hey, you like it? Well, uh, the rear end went out of it when we loaded it. Like, it was going out. I bought that chassis and rear end from, a, like, an 18-year-old kid, so I'd say he treated them about like I do. See y'all. Bye. Love ya. My mom, my grandma, and <laughs> all of them right here, ready to go. 
our male people. Our male people, I'm which lucky. are my best friends from town. And then uh, my mom, my grandma, and Freddie. <laughs> <sighs> I can taste that water, baby. I've been in it way too many times. We're almost home. Oh, one more hill, buddy. I actually did it, Trent. I did it, man. I can't believe this. It's all sinking in now, man. I've worked so hard. I feel it. I feel it bad, but it's going to be worth it here in a few minutes, man. I've always wanted to show my kids something that isn't easy. And I've showed them that a lot, but this one I think will I think this one will resonate, I hope. Say anything? It ain't even trying to spark. She ain't gonna start. Hey, you ready to see daddy? You ready to see daddy? Yeah? Jimmy, you ready to see daddy? Yeah, yeah, you excited? Oh, I'm so excited to see you, Michael. <laughs> I can't wait. It's been a long time. Thing really easy when we need to fix it. And us sitting down here with this truck and Mr. Sissy. Eli, hey, this thing, hey, this thing's called the pickle jar. Uh, uh, and then <laughs> with chuck. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. You like it? I did it, guys. I actually built a truck. And right now, I've been gone 40 days and 40 nights. And I didn't come back empty handed. I was hoping to be able to drive it in, but it wouldn't start down there. Hey, that's a sign, I don't care. 
Hey, that thing is so muddy. It may be a good thing. We would have thrown rocks oh, everywhere. It, it's nasty out there anyway, so. Oh, I miss this place a lot, guys. I have got more micro monsters to make. Starting with that one. I'm kind of in an Izetta mood, so. Project would have been easier to do than that one. This one would have been a lot easier to finish. So we'll do that now. <laughs> uh, things are real, man. I bought this, okay, a long time ago when I dreamed of a single cab. They can keep a single cab. to do is emulate the bed so and the front of this is at an angle so I thought this I just made a mini bed for the roof rack I went slanted at the back just like the back of the bed and then I rounded the back of this and left it open just like the front so why I left it open on the back was so if I ever have a long load I can load it here and then put the extension all the way to the bed with a razor extension so functionality I love this thing it looks like it was made for it don't it I'm pretty happy with that
did this pass. I rounded these ends too, so it matches the roof rack. So if anyone were to get down here and look, it's like, oh damn, he even made that match the roof rack. Hey, it's not like we're on time. Is there nothing here? You happy with that? I like that it looks like the sleeper cab of a truck too. You know, like the cab would be on air on the back. I like that a lot. All coming together now. It is all coming together now, buddy. Uh, that's the truck, man. I, that's the silhouette I wanted. Nailed it. Better than I wanted, honestly. The bed, the way the bed turned out, and then the roof rack, like those are add-ons that were from Dreamland, you know? And they're my favorite parts of the whole thing. I am so glad that I trusted AI on this one, buddy. True artistic intelligence. Real life stuff, not that fake computer garbage. Uh, don't be sorry. I'll sink it in, man. I got that little guy's mind. they get the ride in that thing I don't know I mean as close as the uh, pedals are and everything I may have to have them drive it <laughs> thank you guys so much for following along <laughs> I'm just a crazy guy chasing dreams and I don't have much but I have absolutely no excuses and the that project was truly $5,000 and my best attempt at testing myself as an artist. And uh, as much of an enjoyment that project was, consider that just the appetizer for the combination that I'm putting together for Hot Wheels. And as well as it did at Petersville, that is the steam I need in this locomotion to get me on down that Hot Wheels track. And hopefully we can do it in not just the pickle jar that you just seen, but do it in the next movie you're gonna to see too, which is this big deal behind me. Is that cool? Let's see what this guy thinks of it. Let's see what he thinks about it. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> okay. I thought this was the you push that in to prime it like a weed eater. It is. And you get it started. <laughs> gas, gas bulb. Yeah. Okay. So what, what's what's the, this? Part? I just made it. Okay. The back fenders are 2829 Model A front fenders, and then no. those, the front fenders are 72. That one just like it. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything around. Bumpers are nice metropolitan. I just grab whatever's in the scrap pile. Yeah. Yeah. My, my, my dad had one just like it. <laughs> yeah. Did he? <laughs> yeah. BMW I said it. Changed it a little bit. Up, didn't you? Yeah, we're all out. <laughs> hey, you boys have a good time out here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I was gonna. I was, I'm trying to ask him what do you want. I made it. Like it's a '91 Dodge frame attached to a Volkswagen uh, Bug beam, and then I put '72 Volkswagen Beetle back fenders on the front, turned around backwards, and then the Model A front fender. It's a. Um, it's an Izetta. It's the body, and then you built the rest. So what, what are your guesses? What are your guesses? What do you think it is? What do I think it is? I think it's... That was like one of those BMWs, wasn't That's it? That's it, brother. Got it. With a truck? That was Urkel's car. That's it. Yes. There you go. Yeah. It's a BMW. Remember Urkel? Like a like a oh, oh, yeah. Should I get in there with him, though? Can you see the truth? She said she can see her so tight. I drive it now when I drive it. Like when I actually drive it, it's easier for me to drive it from right here, you know? Yes, so I just drive it from right here. Like it's not, I'm in the center too, you know? I mean, and even here, the kids can ride with me no problem. It's when like she wants to ride, I can, you know? I can get over here, but it gets higher.
it's been a lot of ups, a lot of downs. I know it seemed like more downs than ups, but in the valleys of life, I find the best people. So no regrets at all. You all, get out there and build something. It's a dark world. Let's go out there and light it up.